long beloved, a word. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. As we look at people praying for peace all around the world, speaking of God and speaking of being believers and asking for help and aid, we're going to look at just like a group of people are claiming they are the underdog, the smaller one, the minority against this huge majority or Goliath attacking them. We have a minority, a small group of people in their country who are not just concerned with being attacked from the outside, but they are under attack from the inside, not for any crime or evil that they have done, but simply because of the color of their skin. Many people may say or attempt to create a division and a difference between uh, Blacks or Hebrews here in America and many of the brothers and sisters scattered around the four corners of the earth. But when you look in the faces of many of these people being brutalized, being treated with no mercy, you will see a strong resemblance to many of the people you pass by every day, many of them living in your own homes, to such an extent you can't even discern the difference of many. And there's this catchphrase that seems to be continually reported that in this European context that this is shocking. No evil has occurred since 1945. There is a catchphrase um, being put out there, but you can put any phrase you want in any way you want. Evil's face will show itself in any place. And when those who give no mercy are asking for mercy, we will remember what the Most High said, blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. We are looking at two sides. We are looking at the Ukraine, and we are looking at Poland, and we are looking to see if those who ask for mercy are giving it. I will let the video play, beloved. And Indian students stuck in Ukraine are accusing officials of discrimination and Indian students stuck in Ukraine are accusing officials of discriminating against them and pushing them back from getting to the border. Videos have been posted on social media said to show black people being prevented from boarding a train and left stranded at a railway station in Lviv as Ukrainians were allowed on. Others said they were turned back from the border and were even being shot at. Like this video, Indian students claim Ukrainian guards on the Polish border uh, beat them up and didn't allow them to cross. Tens of thousands of international students have been stuck in Ukraine since the war started. On Skype with us now from... I'm going to stop that video and show you another. Just a very short clip. And forgive me if they're a blend of multiple clips. These are people seeking asylum because there's nowhere else to go. They have gotten to places of transportation and been turned away, pushed away. Even when they got to the border of Poland, they were told they were not allowed to enter in, where others weren't even required to show anything but their European design, if you will. These same said people who ask for mercy, but are not giving any. I wanted to show a short video, so bear with me, beloved. These are many of the people stuck. They're by the train stations, had gotten to the train stations, but were told up until the last Ukrainian leaves that wants to get on that, those trains, they will not. Man, man, these train. people left without taking the blacks, man. None of the blacks, man. See, see. No. Even the black guys that already have kids, they took their kids and their wife and left the niggas behind. Like, everyone is stranded. 
This is, this is really too bad. Man, these people left without taking the blacks. Man. None of the blacks. Man. See, see. All right, beloved. I want to read something. We're in the book of Second Esdras. I am in chapter 15, starting at the 15th verse. Forgive me, starting at the 14th verse, Second Esdras, chapter 15, starting at the 14th verse. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draws nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes and the courses of their actions shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. I also want to go to the very beginning of this chapter. It is chapter 15. I'm going to start at the first verse. Behold, speak in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in your mouth, says Yahuwah, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Fear not the imaginations against you. Let not the incredulity of them trouble you that speak against you. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Behold, says Yahuwah, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. For wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Therefore, says Yahuwah, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood cries unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. And therefore, says Yahuwah, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Mizraim, but will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Mizraim with plagues as before and will destroy all the lands thereof. Yes, beloved, right now we are at the beginning where it is picking up speed. It has already started, but we are seeing it pick up speed where they are turning on one another. And while asking for help, while asking that there will may come a point where they want you to join forces, forces to help save them while they will boldly let you die not because you die beside them fighting for what is right and fighting for truth, but because of the color of your skin, they will not even count you as human while sending out prayers unto the most high. But just as they have turned their backs on the blacks, be it the Ukraines that won't let them board the trains or the Polish who stopped them at the borders and will not let them gain entry the Most High is sitting high and looking low and seeing everything. And while they're sending up prayers for themselves, they have no mercy for those amongst them. While claiming to be the smaller of a greater fighting war, they have a war within their own country where they are brutalizing others who they see as different or as they see as weaker. May the Most High's word and power go forth. May he do exactly what he will. And may this profane world be under his judgment, that he bring it to pass and cleanse it. And only the truth of his word, his spirit, be dominant. Beloved, as we watch, whether we come together on this side or the other, 
know for a certainty it has begun. It will increase with shocking magnitude worldwide. This system, this profane, fetid, unholy system is coming down its foundations, its walls, its ceilings, its floors, its windows, its doors, everything is exposed. And as they have done, the most high shall do unto them. Blessed be the most high and his word. May he reign over the house of Jacob. May he have mercy on whom he will. And may the victory always be his and be ours. Let not your heart be troubled. He knows. Shalom, beloved. A word.